So I thought I'd just do a quick update on my uh, Factor 5 uh, Roadster build, Mark IV. Well, uh, I think since my last video, I've gotten done quite a bit on the motor here. Um, you know, I got the carb on, regulators on, and I did go with the GMHE ignition. So, not a fan of the front distributor uh, setup. I think uh, during the Iacocca days, even before then, Windsor days when the Windsor block was designed. They wanted to be able to set timing real easy at the front, so I think that was the main reason they probably put it in the front. I, I could be totally wrong, but that'd be my guess. They're trying to make everything in access to the front. So anyways, coming full circle, I don't want to have a blaster coil over here, your distributor over here, and then a box up here. So that's kind of the beauty of HEI is it's all in one spot. I'm not building high horsepower. I'm just trying to build a good street motor, and something like this I think works great. As far as the plug wires, you know, I ran with MSD wires, and then uh, everyone runs over the valve covers, and I, I don't really like that. Uh, it's nice to be able to access the valves, and I think it looks a little nicer, too, with uh, the valve covers exposed. So, um, I got one of those cut-your-own cut uh, plug cables, and I ran right under the headers. And I made some uh, custom brackets here, out of just some sheet metal I had around, some aluminum. Kind of something similar over here. And then these are uh, Taylor uh nylon um uh, uh cable limbs so but uh that's really where that's at i haven't done much on the rear because i've just been again focusing on the motor finishing up and one other area i just been working on is radiator and i did make a shroud and you know there are some aftermarket ones but again the shrouds to help with cooling basically when you're in stop and go traffic and uh Probably not as good on the highway because again you're going to inhibit some airflow. But when you're on the highway, you're only making 20, 25 horse, and it's really not an issue. So that restricted flow is probably less of an issue. So if you're balancing uh, overheating in a highway vehicle, I'd say go with the shroud. But one thing I didn't like is I tried to bend this on my workbench. Actually, it's just bending on this edge here with some C clamps and pieces of steel, and I wasn't able to get some nice flush bends and I just was not happy with these big holes so after I got done with this whole thing I actually went and rebuilt it and built another one but before I did that uh, Harbor Freight sells a real nice uh, bending brake so I wouldn't say real nice but uh, basically you can make really crisp bends you got to put some relief on your bar but basically you know you put your sheet metal in here clamp it down and and make the angles you want and having said that once I used that to make the new shroud you know I was able to get better bends um, it doesn't show but basically it's a much sturdier backing and then I used 63 or 16 gauge aluminum instead of some thinner stuff because I wasn't able to bend that thicker stuff very well so you end up with a better better end result so and as I go on this car, that's the more I learn, the more I do on this thing, the more I'm just like, don't, <laughs> don't nickel and dime, just do it right the first time and you'll be happy. So that's kind of where the build's at. And uh, I guess uh, maybe the next time I'll we'll show, I'll be starting this thing up or, uh, or it'll be a roller. So we'll see. Thanks for watching.